Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm just doing a little bit of jelly plating. Now, as I said in the video before when I was doing the shrink plastic, um, I wanted to give it a go onto the, um, the jelly plates on the shrink plastic. So that is what I've been doing this morning. And I'm absolutely loving it. I think it looks really, really good. Now I've stamped on these. Now remember where if you're gonna put it onto your jelly plate, pop it onto the, the matte side, not the shiny side. Now on this one, I stamped first. And then as you can see, I've just turned it upside down so you can have a look. I've stamped, I've used the Posca pens, but obviously I've done it this side. And then I've just covered it in sort of like some paint off the jelly plate, um, which I just love. I think they look really, really good. So just a little messy play today. This one I love. Now this is the last one I did because I've got all the little grungy bits, all the little dry bits off the jelly plate and it looks very sort of distressed and lovely. So I'd like to see how that one comes out um, when you shrink it up. So I'm hoping this will work. So I'm gonna show you, I've just cut out one of, I've done two sheets of the shrink plastic and just cut them into four. So all I'm gonna do is take one of them. I'm, I've got some bits on there already where I have been playing. So I'm just gonna pop some paint down, a couple of bits. Let's just do a few blues on there and a little bit of green like that. And I'm just going to just make a little bit of a, a mess on there. Take this, so I'm gonna do, so you've got the, um, shiny side looking up look at that i think they look great so i'm going to just leave that like that let's move these out of the way i'm going to take another bond but this one i think i'm just going to roll her over the top like that so look at that i hope you can see that's probably better on the white um which looks good so let's just roll this over So I'm going out this afternoon, so I just wanted to have a quick play. Now I'm just going to pop some little dots on there. Let's have a look what have we got. I've got some little, little crissy crossy bit there. Stick that on. Oopsie daisy. My nice big flower. Let's put that over the top. It's just, you just do exactly the same as you would do it if you were doing it on paper. Um, so I will take another bit. What should we have? Should we have a little bit of purple in there? A bit of purple and white, I think. Just make a nice big mess. So, and then what I did, my very squeaky little roller, took some of the, the rest of it up with the paper. So I've got some nice jelly print papers as well. I'm going to just roll over this again like that. Take this piece, stick it on. I think these just look so good. I really do hope they shrink down properly and I will probably as well have to seal this with some resin. Look at that. I think that looks great. Move that to dry a little bit because I'm not sure whether the paint will peel off. We will see. We will experiment anyway, can't we? Look at that. Love it. Right, I've got one more piece here. And I don't really want to cut any more up. So this is just a quick video. Should we pop a little bit of this? This is um, rose red, it says. on a little bit on there I'm going to take the bottom of my glue bottle maybe I'll make some little marks in here as well with that a little bit of this stick that on and once these are dry, that's when you can go in there with your Posca pen on the stamps. I stamped over the top of this one 
um, and then on the on the bottom of this before I put the paint on, um, which looks good. And what I want to do with this, I'm going to just pop this one to the side because I quite like that one as it is. Let's just roll it over this. Now I would like this to sort of draw. I'm going to take a piece of paper, take this piece off. Oops. Look at that. That's lovely. And then I'm going to see if I can pick up some of these bits on here. The dry bits. You might not be able to see it on there. So look, you can see it's picking up all those big grungy bits, which are all the nice bits on here that make it look sort of like very um, rustic. So this would be lovely again in the browns if you wanted to go for like a nice rusticy brown bit. I hope you can see that. Can you see it's picking up all the, the little bits and pieces on there? So I think that looks really good. Let's stick all these pieces and then once they are all done. I think I'm going to just leave that one as it is. I'm going to just move that to the side a little bit. Shall we put some white paper under here so we can see what we're doing? Take this out, pop that on there. Pop that on there. Oops, stuck to there. So they're the three that we've just done. So let's just move that up. That's going to be still wet. So let's do this one because this one is quite dry. Now I've just got my Posca pen and I'm just going to do just a few little dots on here like that. And I might actually even, let's have a look, there's a few more dots on here. Like this. doesn't really matter where they go but I think the white dots or the white Posca pen works really well um, on this shrink plastic when it shrinks um, it really really does show up and I think it looks really really good I'm going to put a little bit of paint on here actually what color shall I put on here should we have some green let's put a little bit of green so you just quick keep layering up the colours and I want you to just see if I can add onto here. Hmm, I think I need a little bit more. Just a bit more paint. Stick that on, make sure I'm in view here. Let's go up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Let's turn it around this way so I don't make a big mess. Oh, look, there we go. That's really nice. What should we have? Should we have a bit of this one on the other one? Pop that down. There's more paint on these, so you these will take a little bit longer to dry, these ones, I think. Don't want to stick my big fingers in there. Gonna work. Stick you on there. Hmm, not brilliant. Let's see what else have we got. Shall we have a leaf? Let's or a little petal. Let's put the petal over the top. No, it's not coming off. I think this might be a bit too wet. So let's see. See this one? I love that one. That's really nice. Let's see if we can pop it over the top of this one mix some white in there. Put these bits out of the way. Let's have this one. I haven't used these little stamps for ages. Oh there we go. 
Yeah, I think I think it's a bit too wet, the other one. Oh, I like that. Lovely. Pop that over to the side. Let's have one of these. These are the ones that I did earlier and they're dry. So let's just see if I can pop that on there. Get some extra bits in there. So that looks nice. Now I do like these little dots. I like dots for some reason. I think it just adds something really nice to your work. Especially if you're obviously doing mixed media. So that looks nice. You're still a bit wet. Oh, lovely. Okay, what else have we got? This one. Let's try this one on here. Wow. So once these ones are dry, I will go in there. Oh my gosh, I can't pick it up. I will go in there with a bit of a... Um, a little bit of the white Posca pen, I think. Lovely. Because look, I've got the little hearts and stuff on here. Just keep layering it up and then you get that real depth of um, paint and everything in there. You can see that's really lovely. Now, I'm liking this one. And that's really pale and lovely. I like this here. Okay, so they're all dried now. I'm going to pop those to the side like this and then pop this over here and we will get rid of what's on here like this. Let's just roll this up. You see all the little dry bits, which are all the nice little bits on there. Let's see if I can get any of it onto here. Yes. I'll do a close-up of these at the end of the video. Um, because it's quite difficult to see. I love these. You can see how it's just pulling the little bits off. I hope you can see that. Let's see if I can get a little bit onto here. So it's quite nice. If you've got your jelly plate, if you're doing your jelly plates, leave it to dry for a while. When you've done your last print, leave all the little bits on there to dry and then come back in, pop some white or cream or something over the top and you'll be surprised at what comes actually off, oops, off your jelly plate. bits off the back. Let me take a piece of paper from under here. Let's do it this way. Oops. Look at that one. That's really nice. These are lovely collage papers that I'm going to be doing. So this should be pretty dry. Get all these little bits off here. Love it. Absolutely love it. So there we go guys. That is just okay. So basically what I wanted to show you was to get the paint onto your um shrink plastic just from the jelly plate. Um and doing whatever patterns you want to do on there but I'm loving it so in the next video this is just a quick one to show you what I am doing now in the next video we will be making some lovely bits and pieces out of these love this one so these are all are gorgeous love them so I should have eight pieces here of all different bits and which will be making some beads um, and some little bits and pieces, well not beads, but some dingly danglies. Well I might try and make some beads actually, but we shall see. So there we go guys, quick video, I need to get washed up because I am going out now to a birthday party. 
so a nice Sunday afternoon birthday party um, and I will see you tomorrow and we will use these up all right guys take care have a lovely weekend and I will see you soon bye bye